teams looking stark for a win. And we are set to go. The Hurricanes are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. Moves the puck over to McAvoy. Nice zone entry on the left side. Grabs possession of the puck. And he had the answer on that one. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Pasternak's accuracy when shooting a puck that's flat and settled on the ice is his snipe zone ability, and it's what makes his shot so dangerous. Ajo's an incredible playmaker, and with his third-eye zone ability, he can make deceptive passes to set up his teammates. Those are two big names I'll be keeping tabs on all throughout this matchup. Now, sending it back upstairs. Battle along the boards. And some good footwork to kick it away. Slides the puck over. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Great heads up play with the stick by Slavin. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Carolina's got the puck. Kara Biden's got it in the defensive end. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Marchand's got it into offensive territory. Sends the pass over. Strong defensive effort. Slides the puck across to DeBrusque. Burns is hauled down. The official's arm is up. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving. And when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Cuts to the front. Oh, a clutch save. The Hurricanes have it in the offensive zone. Great use of the stick at center by Frederick. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Carolina's got the puck in the defensive end. The Bruins have possession shorthanded. Carolina's got a hold of it against the wall. The Hurricanes pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Knocked away with the stick by Ajo. Frederick's got it along the wing. Oh, what a save on the play! Uh, such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about completing, finding a way to get to the puck. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they're getting loud here now. Oh, wow, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. Coyle's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And now it's grabbed by Burns. That eyes him on the play. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Drury's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Hurricanes win it. Puck picked up by Svechnikov. And a solid save there as we play on. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. He scores! power play goal! Well, especially teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. For an effective power play, you have to move the puck around with precision, and you have to create some motion to open up lanes. That's exactly what happens here. They're able to get the puck to the middle of the ice, and that's how they get the goal. Carolina's talked a lot about getting off to good starts, and look at this, case in point right here. Well, yeah, you get up by one goal early in the game, and it just creates momentum all around your bench. Everyone gets on the ice. They want to contribute. They want to be the one to get the goal on the board and continue to increase this lead. I think they've been real effective to start this game. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And he stags that one with the glove. 
The Hurricanes have the shot advantage, and they also have the lead on the scoreboard. Carolina's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Drury's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a player. Slides it back to the blue line. Marchand's lugging the puck. The Hurricanes take possession in the neutral zone. Good read with the stick to break that up. They go on the attack through center. Along the half wall with the puck. Blocked in traffic. Taken along the wall by Lauko. Moves it quickly over to Boquist. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Burns brings it in from center. There's a shot. Oh, what a save in front. And that pass attempt is deflected. Quick feed to Boquist. The Hurricanes grab possession to the puck. Here's a short pass to Burns. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Shot! Oh, an unbelievable stop by Kuchetkov! Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Takes a shot! Foley with a stop. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Lots of time left in this period. Carolina's ahead, 1-0. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Poked away in the offensive end. Slides the puck up from the left side. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Oh, stops it with the glove. Great reflexes there. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Carolina's had the shot advantages and they also have the lead. Boston's going to start with the puck in their own end. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. Takes the puck at the point. Let's see the call here. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. chance of the night here on the man advantage well they create a power play opportunity with hard work and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game James finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net Boston's got a hold of the puck now up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area picked up along the boards by Coyle knocked away in the offensive zone here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Boston's got the puck. He looks deep to Van Riemsdyk. Boston's got it into the offensive zone. Fires it! Oh, he gets all that one with the pad. Trying to clear the puck. Quick pass to Coyle. Oh, there's a great stop by Kuchetkov! I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Great balance as he scoops it back up. And he takes the dish. Huge steal in his own end. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Tries to get it out of their own end. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. Looks to make a play over to Coyle. Moves it around along the half wall. Shot! Oh, a little wax on, wax off. What a blocker stop by Kuchetkov! Carolina's got the puck against the half wall. Reaches out and uses the stick. 
Takes the pass back at the point. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Inside the offensive zone. Puts it on net. Fantastic save. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Alo standing up, ready to go. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Nice job to escape the zone. Carolina's penalty killers deliver a huge effort to keep that one goal lead intact. Well, and you have the player advantage and you're down by a goal. You have to generate some momentum. And the first stop is putting it in the back of the net. And now they're back at even strength, trying to get back on the board. Sends it over to Kiki. He grabs the puck here at the point. Sends the feet in front. He scores! What a play! He gets the shot off from those coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's all tied up. The Hurricanes win the faceoff at center. Pesci's got it in the offensive zone. Centering feed. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Big time hit along the board. He scores! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. We can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Oh, James, goalies get really angry about these ones. You have a defensive zone turnover. You could be out of your zone. Instead, the goalie's cut out of position and the puck's in the back of your net. The Hurricanes take the lead after that last goal. And Cheryl, what do you wait for here now? Do you, uh, do you anticipate the counter punch or do you look for the continued push attack? Well, you got to continue to push attack. There's way too much runway left in this game, James. You're in the first period. You got to find a way to continue to compete, continue to maintain the momentum and put your opponent on their heels. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game and now you find yourself shorthanded. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. DeBrusk taking it from his own end. Pucks it down the ice. Taken by Ajo. Tries to get it to Burns. The Hurricanes played along the wing. Takes the feed. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Drips it and rips it. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Clay whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Now you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. Carolina's got a five on three and the clock's their BFF here. What an opportunity, a long five on three here and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Puck clear from the defensive end. Nason stick snaps and he's off to the bench to get a new one, gets back into the play quickly. Moves it to Tara Vinan. Shuts him down. Solid check to slow him down. Here's the puck. And makes the routine save. Puck scooped up by Nason. They are swarming around like bees here in the Ozone. And gets it right back. Back and forth. Here they go in the offensive end. They really turned it up a notch. Oh, it hit the post. It was that close. Look at this. They've got the cycle in full effect now. And the team's got it here. And it's 
taken by the D. They put the puck into the offensive end. And he takes the pass. Puck grabbed by Shea. Here they come on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Drury. Gives them nothing in front. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age, them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Coyle's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Carolina's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attackers. Now this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. And off the face off, they take possession. And they'll dump it in. The Hurricanes gain possession. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. From the back of the cage with the puck. And that's off a stick. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. Feeds it over to Jarvis. And that's knocked away by Grislyk. The Bruins get their man back out of the box. That's a great job by the PK to have the ability to be aggressive and strong on the puck. Carolina's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Handles the puck. Here's a shot. That's off a stick. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck against the wall. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Shot. Oh, stopped with the pad by Sweeman. Moves it over to Zaka. Boston's got it along the wall. A shot. Oh, what a great glove save on the play. Slavin's known for making smart defensive plays when he's in those one-on-one -on -one battles, guys. He keeps composed, reads the play, and then breaks up the attack. That's his shutdown zone ability, and it's what makes him such an asset to the squad. Great poke check on the reach. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Steps across the blue line. Puck dumped in. Quick feed to McAvoy. Locos picking up steam. Sends it in deep. Carolina's got possession of the puck. Pass to Burns. Gaining momentum up along the side. Quick pass across to Lauco. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Can't hang on after that hit. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Hurricanes are up 3-1. Carolina's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Here's a short pass to McAvoy. Tries to get it over to Heinen. Handles the puck at the point. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Hurricanes have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Carolina's taking possession in their own end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. 
Austin's got control of it now from their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Here they come up along the wing. Quick pass to Martinick. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Here they come on the attack. The Hurricanes looking against the half wall. Here he is in front. How did he stop that one? What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Kakaniemi's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It's the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. Kakaniemi's won the draw. And that's blocked from someone in front. The Bruins have it now. Coyle's got the puck in his own zone. With possession along the wall. Shot! And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Moves it to Kotkaniemi. The Hurricanes take it along the wall. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Boston's got it across the line. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Here's a chance to the middle, and that's stopped. Slick feed. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. The Hurricanes move the puck in the defensive zone. Pushes it across to Tara Vinen. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Sends it down low. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. effective stick checker in his own zone guys and that helps out his team's defensive game we call that his stick em up zone ability and it's what helps disrupt his opponent's attack and with the centers tied up he swoops in to take possession moves it quickly over to punting here's a shot oh and he steps up with the glove to stop that one Carolina still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Zach has won the draw inside his own end. Grizzlick's picking up momentum through center. Nice poke check. And now it's grabbed by Burns. Can't keep a hold of it. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by McAvoy. Carolina's got the puck. Slavin's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Grislyk. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. You can see the frustration as he slams the penalty box door, James. That's his second of the period, and he knows he's put his team in a bad spot. Off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. Trying to clear the zone, and the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck, and because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. The Hurricanes look to start the transition game. They gain the zone from the left side. Hooked away by Carlo. Austin's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Carolina's got a hold of it against the wall. Ajo's hauled down. Penalty on the way. The goal 
contender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Slides it diagonally, tenacious. Here he is, takes the shot. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Carolina's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. With a long five on three, yes, you have more time, and you know that you've worked on this in practice. The coach wants you to be patient with the puck, but they want you to find an opportunity to drive and attack. You have to move it, or you have to fire it. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Slides it up front. Cuts into the paint, and that's off target as it hits a body. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Marchand's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they win the draw on their own end. Poked away in the offensive zone by Drury. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Still has possession. With some open space at center. Quick feed to Tara Vinen. The Bruins have it now. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, uh, yeah, this... Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, he's going to get the slashing call here, James, and it's a stick infraction. What that means is you're in a vulnerable spot. Why? Your opponent has gained position on you. power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work well that's a tough one to take when you're five on three but you still have a huge opportunity four on three and this is where coaching comes in james you have to know how to settle your bench down and put the appropriate players out there here's a chance oh he got a little sliver of it and it stays out i really like to say james because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area he turns aside a real dangerous opportunity Svechnikov's a highly skilled player that uses lacrosse style puck handling to get pucks on net or he'll toss it over to a teammate for a big play. You gotta look to him to bring people out of their seats with an unreal move. Nice zone entry from the left. Drills him. Monster save by Kachetkov. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Great reach with the poke check by Carlo. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Sends it out front. What a chance, but they can't connect. A chance in front. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Blocked in front. Knocks the puck loose. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Oh, and he makes another save. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Stones them in front. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time. And man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Kiki's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Hurricanes win the draw on their own end. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Tries to the crease, and he's peeling off to regroup. Here's a short pass to Kiki. Quick snap, turns it away. 
I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Stalls ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Hurricanes win it in the defensive zone. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. And that goes off a of body. There's a shot, and he's got that one. Let's see what the official says here. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You've taken your third penalty of the period. you got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. off with a five on three power play but not much time to work with well a short five on three here but you still have a time to strike not even once but possibly twice you got to get it on your stick drive it through to the net they gain the offensive zone from the middle puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose no since penalty has expired but they remain short-handed as he joins the kill sends it in front oh he comes up with a stop As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Carolina's got it in the defensive zone. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Kakaniemi's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Boston's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Big time stop. Grabbed along the board by Geeky. Denies him again. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Puck picked up by Marchand. From the top of the offensive zone here. Wow, what an incredible shift. They're so urgent all over the offensive zone. Coaches love these types of shifts. Boston's looking to break out. Slides the puck to DeBrusque. Great defensive effort with the stick. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Shea. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Takes the pass. Taken by Marchand. No room for that one to get through. Puts it on net. Scores! And they capitalize with the extra player on the ice and it's a power play goal while well, using the advantage of having extra ice available to them james that's why their most skilled players are on the ice that one's executed to perfection i love the patience of this power play it's all about puck movement and when you're gonna let a shot go you want to make sure that there's traffic net front and that's exactly what happens the goaltender screen and they find the back of the net The Hurricanes lead it here late in this first period. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Quick pass to Pasternak. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Poked away at center by Grislyk. And he takes the feed. Boston's in on the offensive attack now. Sends the feed in front. The shot. And there's the save. Here's a blast. Can't get it to go. Puck scooped up by Orlov. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. 
Quick shot. And saved by Swayman. Directed over to McAvoy. Gains the zone along the right wall. And that's poked away. Scooped up along the wall by Martinuk. Fires it on net. Big stop just as time expires in the period. And he hangs on just as time runs out. First 20 minutes of play is in the books. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you send this one up for the first 20 minutes? Boston's trailing in this game because they haven't had any urgency around the puck. They've been chasing the game, and they haven't had any possession time. Lots of time left in this period. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Carolina's got the lead here early in the second period. They have been the more active team offensively. Coyles won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Moves it to Pasternak. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. Carolina's got a hold of the puck. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Pass out front, and that doesn't connect. Otto has been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. zone ability and here on the power play a little more open ice could be what he needs to unleash that offense and they'll start with possession Denies him! the Hurricanes will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now and they get that puck down the ice the Bruins will play it from the defensive zone Jabrusks gain the line and on the attack Moves it quickly over to Kiki. Denied by the goaltender. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. The Bruins win the faceoff. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. Under siege trying to get it out of their zone. And they clear the defensive zone. Boston's got the puck. Headman pass. Broken up by Shea. From the point, looks to make something happen. Here he is, shot right in front. Denies the shooter on that play. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point playing shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Receives the pass. Takes the shot. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Tara Bynan's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick feed to Ajo. Looking to break out here on the power play. Marchand's been slashed. Penalty coming up. Grabs control of it at the point. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering when a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. The 
Bruins could really open things up with a five-on-three power play. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Here's a short pass to Coyle. Handles the pass. And he can't hang on after that hit. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. The Bruins gain possession. Gains the zone through center. Centering feed. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Hurricanes have possession shorthanded. They clear the zone. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Floats the saucer pass. Van Riemsdyk's carrying it ahead. Burns steps back out onto the ice with some fresh legs for this penalty kill. And he takes a shot. Oh, what another save. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Sends a pass over. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, a clutch save! Boston's big time scores! And they convert on the power play. Well, they do the penalty because they were competing and they were urgent on the puck, James, and then the same approach came on the power play where they knew how to hound it and retrieve it. And guess what? They're rewarded for their efforts. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Bruins have made this a whole new game in period number two. The difference in a close game is often the details, James, and this is a group that have worked hard. They've had good habits, and they find themselves tied. Carolina's across the blue line. Sends it in front, and that's blocked in front. Carolina's got possession here in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Drury. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Sends it in on the attack. Burns moves the puck. Moves it to Bunting. Into the attacking area from the left side. Here's a shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. Moves it quickly over to Kiki. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Shot! Burns carries the puck in his own zone. Nietzsche moves it into the attacking end. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Takes the feed up ahead. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Takes the feed. Quick feed to Tara Pinen. Here's a shot. Oh, what a club save. Wow. We're still in the early stages of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Ajo's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. And that'll make the highlight reels with that glove stop. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Coyles gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Carolina's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Glove save. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Types 
the players that should show up in the video room at practice tomorrow, James. I mean, it's about having heart and being tenacious on the puck. The never quit attitude leads to the assist that it leads to the eventual goal. Carolina's gone up by one here in the second period. Well, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. Puck grab by Burns. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Great read with the stick. Marchand stick handling in his own zone. And they keep the pressure on. Along the right side into the offensive zone. The Bruins ready to go on the attack. Comes up with the stop. And will get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Carolina's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. Zach has won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a denial by Kuchetkov! Keeps a hold of it on the play. Great pressure on the offensive end by Zaka. Slides the puck over. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Feeds it to Zaka. Here's a short pass to DeBrusque. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Back at the point, they set it up. A shot. Oh, After letting that goal in, James, it's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Carolina's now up by two here in the second. They've really pushed the pace this entire game, James. It's going to be a question as to whether they can really close it out. And their first few strides have been urgent. That tells me they've been prepared right from puck drop. Poked away in the neutral zone by Grislyk. Quick pass to Jarvis. Oh, what a dangle! Right in the slot! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Hurricanes now lead by two. And they take possession here in the offensive zone, and time to go on the attack. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. McAvoy's got it in the defensive end. Taken along the wall by Mortnick. With the stop. Battling for it along the boards. Takes the puck behind the net. And they continue to apply pressure here. Carolina's regained possession of the puck. will not change. Sometimes you do all the hard work to get to the right spots on the ice, but you don't have any puck luck, and that was evident there as it hit the post and out. Moves it to McAvoy. Boston's got it along the wall. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, smart heads up, Reed. Penalty coming up here as the officials all over that slash. Here comes the call. You can almost hear the sighs on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here, James. A tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. The Bruins send their man advantage unit out once more. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place is to attack is. Drives it to the crease! Oh, the night on the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, 
Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Burns is whacked with a slash. Delayed penalty coming up. Here comes the call to the official. Well, it looks like he wasn't ready to play today. He's got that frustrated edge about him, and he's put his team in a real bad spot. I'm surprised that he's out there, and I'm not sure he's going to get back out once he gets out of the box. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Four-on-four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Now he takes it over the line. From the blue line, they take control of it. Fires it. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out. Profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Well, as play continues, can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it. You can feel it. And he can feel it after that last save. Because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James. And that's how that save was made. Makes his presence known on the ice. Poked away in the defensive end. Back to the point it goes. Just wide. You're in the slot, you gotta hit the net. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Pesci. Stops that one. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Carolina's got some room to do something here on this power play as their penalty expired. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Natchez. Moves it quickly over to Drury. And that shot dies in traffic. Zaka's lugging the puck. And they manage to clear it. Tries to feed it over to Ajo. Good use of the body on the play. Sends the pass over. Great save by Swayman. Keeps possession. And the puck clears the zone. Passes it to Ajo. Moves it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Power play continues, and they'll look to set up here with this offensive zone draw. Well, they need to take advantage of the moment, not just the power play, but they're up against a fatigued goaltender who is not moving as well in his crease. Marchand's taking it from his own end. DeBrus almost out of the box. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Bunting's got it into offensive territory. Quick feed to Ajo. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Here's a chance. Puts it on net. Turns him away. Picked up along the wall by Heinen. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Burns. Along the half wall with the puck. With the backhand. Oh, what a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure. You're under attack. Really under siege. And you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Carolina's been just savage in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this second period. Offensive zone face off, and he wins the draw. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Hurricanes have it now. Burns works the puck in his own zone. Carolina's moving it into the offensive end. Lays the body into that play. The Bruins play it along the boards. Across the line, down the left wall. Cutting to the slot. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. 
I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Past the midway mark in this period. Carolina's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Turn that one aside. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Angles it over to Shea. Stupendous blocker save by Swingin'. Takes the feed at the point. Here's a short pass to Pesci. Let's get the official decision. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Carolina's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play in these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. And they move the puck out of harm's way. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. And he takes the dish. They go on the attack through center. Here's a shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Locals recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And loses possession after a solid hit. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Drury's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. And they win the draw in their own end. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Takes the feed. Drury's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Oh, what a save of the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Carabinen's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Comes up with the steal. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. Boston's penalty killers get a hold of it. And now it's grabbed by Lauko. Shot! Slotted away with the blocker by Kuchetkov! Quick pass to Drury. Goes right to the crease! Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Ajo's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Boston's going to start with the puck in their own end. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. Trying to shake loose. All alone. Oh, what a save. Carolina's gained possession. Jarvis takes it through the middle of the ice. The Bruins have possession shorthanded. Boston's got it in their own zone. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bunting. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. Man advantages up. Both teams back to even strength. They've had a great night on the PK. It doesn't get much better than this, James. The coach certainly knows it. Everything they practice has worked out to their benefit right now. Straight line skating, vision, and anticipation. And those are three skills that are required on a PK. Here in the back half of this period, up to eight goals scored so far tonight. It's 5-3. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Feeds 
the puck to Teravainen. Shot! Turned aside with the glove. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Carolina's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Stahl's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And he shut the door on that last play. Moves it to Martinick. Grabbed along the board. Oh, it goes off the outside of the post. Martinuk's been all around the net. It's what he does best, but he hasn't found a way to cash in. This is extremely frustrating for himself and the team when you get these golden opportunities and you don't put it in. From one point man to another. Off a stick. Puck picked up. He might have a step here. He's clear. Can't get that one to go. Well, that's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and then you get nothing in return. A missed opportunity. Moves the puck. Good hit on the play. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck against the wall. With the stop. Takes the puck along the boards. Way too much congestion blocks that. Dumps it into the ozone. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Nelson. The Hurricanes move the puck in the defensive zone. Kakaniemi's got it along the wing. Club save! There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Here in the late going of the frame, the Hurricanes holding down a 5-3 lead in what has been a fun one for hockey fans to watch tonight. He grabs the puck here at the point. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Boston's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Here's a shot. Oh, there's one more. Just fantastic work by the goaltender making consecutive saves. How athletic. The Bruins gain possession. Zaka's got the puck in his own zone. Quick shot! Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Drury's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Great save on the one-timer! And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Drury's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Scores! And there's another power play goal! Wow! Well, practice makes perfect, and you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel, the coaching staff has showed them video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. Carolina's got more than a few smiles on the bench tonight as they inch closer and closer to the end of the second period. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's been a consistent effort right through two periods of play now, James. And they're going to head into this intermission. It could disrupt their rhythm. And they got to make sure they stay focused, they stay intense, and they come ready to start the third the way they started the first and second. Scores! And that's four in a row, and they are going tonight. Now well, the whole bench is rolling wide because they're all getting goals. Feel the energy as they're all standing up. They've gotten four in a row.
The Hurricanes are laying the smack down on the opposition tonight as we near the intermission, but ooh, it can't come soon enough at one end of the ice. Well, yeah, you know that their opponent certainly wants it, uh, an opportunity to reset and catch their breath. But for them, you know that they're going to go to that intermission. Now they're going to sit down, get out of rhythm. They don't want it disrupted. So you know that the leadership groups can be talking about keeping the pedal to the metal. The Bruins have it now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves, and he loses the puck. The Bruins cross the blue line and are on the attack. And that's poked away by Coyle. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Coyle. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Fires it on net. Denies it in front. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. The Hurricanes have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stages of this second period as they continue to lead big. Boston's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Taken by Bokvist. Now he slides it up to Brazil. Carolina's got... Oh, he got rocked and dumped right into the opposition bench pounder. Oh, and half the bench is up, right? They want to see what the heck's going on. And on the other side, he's in the laps of his opponent. You got to collect yourself and get out of there. Takes a shot. Gets a glove on it. Taken along the wall by Bokvist. Quick feed to Wotherspoon. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Face off coming up and Cheryl, a critical one at that for both sides here. Well, you know that the goaltender is extremely fatigued. I mean, just look at the last shift. I mean, in their own zone, finding ways to get the puck out. And of course, the opponent just owning play, hemming them in and finding ways to get the puck to the net. So they got to continue that pressure. And if you're on the goaltender side, you got to make sure you get it out of the zone and give them some rest. Boston's on the attack. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Here's a short pass. Oh, stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. And this one has really put the pressure on now. And look at this puck movement here in the offensive end. And there's a whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much-needed stoppage. Carolina's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Carolina's looking to break out. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Slides it on over to DeBrusque. Down the right side and into the zone. The Bruins have it from the corner. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. Oh, and it's another save on the play. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Carolina's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. And he takes the pass. They score! And if they ever needed one, this was exactly the time. Well, they're just trying to get some momentum back in this game. So deflating when you give up so many goals, James. And you got to figure that this is a step in the right direction. But what can they do with it now? They got to build or it's over. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Boston's been outworked all night long, but they finally got something they can push back with now. Yeah, they got to continue to push as well if they want to give themselves an opportunity to feel like they can get back in this one. And that's going to start with some hard work, the good old intangibles, and the feeling that they can get back in. And it all starts with execution, though, James. And you have to play physical. Picked up along the boards by Drury. Stars! And look at this. Here we go. contribute and have an impact.
Titus. As some kids might say, Cheryl, they're balling out there here in period number two. Just loving it out here, James. I mean, they have had control of the play. They've been so dominant. It almost feels effortless. And when it feels effortless, you don't want it to stop. And they've got the intermission looming, and you know they want to stay on the ice. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Carolina's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Boston's got it, and they're on the attack. Carolina's got the puck in their own end. And the middle frame almost done. Puck scooped up by Frederick. Quick pass to Kiki. Gaining momentum up along the side. Too much traffic in the lane. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Comes up with the stop. Scrum ensues along the boards. Carolina's got control of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Natchez. Inside the offensive zone. Carlos taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They got to find a way to play even strength. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. The Bruins win the draw. There he is from the slot. They score! strikes once again well you know that specialty teams are so critical james and they have executed with the player advantage all night long power play execution is all about retrieval and owning the puck if you don't possess it you can't score but it comes right off of the face off and how often do you work on these set plays where you're trying to get the look that you want and then you convert beautiful play all the way around Boston's been on their heels all night long, but they finally pushed back here in period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're going to have to build on top of it if they want to really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. Carolina's got the puck against the boards. Poked away. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Carolina's got the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Into the offensive end now. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save in front. And he takes the feed. Smart defensive play there. Well, there you go. We played 40 minutes. Final chance for the coaches to push their messages home. And we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments. Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. Curious to see if there was any message sent in the room in that second intermission because it has been a blowout thus far. I wonder if they might even just run the clock. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Hurricanes' power play has been outstanding tonight, James. It has been unpredictable. When it's unpredictable, the coverage doesn't know what to do, and they've scored a ton of goals, and they're winning in this game. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Ajo's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. it away in his own end. 
Carolina's got it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Across the line and on the attack. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it to McAvoy. Pass back to the point. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Burns. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Jury's had the puck on his stick for a great portion of this game so far, James. He's creating, he's at a multi-point night, and it's not done yet. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Play continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. once again send out their power play unit power play has just been average tonight james not been really awful but certainly hasn't been great but that's the good part you can make a difference right now centering to the middle shot oh he got all of that what a save by kachetkov nice flashing the leather on this save the shooter's in a great a scoring area and man he just whips out the glove and makes the save coils ready for the draw on this man advantage Smart read on the play as both centers were tied up on the draw. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Boston's got possession of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Puck grabbed by Zaka. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of the... Oh, he saved it. Unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Van Riem's been such a dangerous player on the power play. He already has a goal there, and he'll be looking to execute again. And that's broken up. Trying to clear. Boston's got it now. And the puck's kicked free. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. At center, takes the pass. Moves into the slot. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Kiki's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Hurricanes win the defensive zone faceoff. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. The Bruins carry it along the wall. The Hurricanes will kill off a few extra seconds now. Takes the puck at the point. McAvoy's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. The Bruins will get a small sample size of a five-on-three. A short five-on-three here on the stick, off the stick. You're not going to have a lot of time to move the coverage, so driving it towards the net and crashing it is key. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Nietzsche's hoping for some puck luck here on this face-off as they continue to play shorthanded. The Bruins win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Made the stop on that play. Great stick work as he pokes it away. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Kiki's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Nice job tying up his opponent. 
Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Carolina's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Trying to dump it out, and they get the job done. Works it across to Van Riemsdyk. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. The Hurricanes have it behind the net. Drury's penalty has expired, but they remain shorthanded, and he joins the kill. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Drury's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Carolina's taking possession in their own end. A chance to get it out. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And here's the pass to Marchand. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. They get it out of the defensive end. The Bruins have it against the wall. Handles the puck. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Fires it. Oh, scores! There it is on the power play. The power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. Uh, James, coaches just love these players. I mean, the name of the game is possession. If you don't have the puck, you can't win it. This retrieval is excellent. Hounding it, finding a way to separate body from puck, and then taking it to the net for the tally. Unbelievable. The Bruins haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they finally got a positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to claw back from this two-goal deficit. They're running out of runway. They're going to find a way to get some chances. The Hurricanes played along the wing. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Power play can be a real tone setter. This one, uh, just about average, James. Good part is, you know what? It's never 100%, but right now is what matters. The Hurricanes gain possession of the defensive zone. And they send it down the ice. And he hangs on to the puck. Throws it in. Moves it quickly over to Shea. The Bruins have it now. Slides it to Saka. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And they get the puck out. Takes the pass from the left wing. Centering feed! Oh, he comes up with a stop. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Drury's won it in their own end. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck. Quick feed to Marchand. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Drury's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Bruins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Slick feed. Oh, great save here. And another save. Scores. And the power play comes up big again. I love the various options that they have on their power play, James. Once the PK adjusts to one, they hit the other. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. 
Boston's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the Ozone. And that pass goes off a stick. Here's a short pass to Coyle. From the right side, they gain the zone. Coyle's got it against the boards. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they're getting loud here now. Wow, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. And he's knocked off the puck there. And now it's grabbed by Burns. Passes on over to Natchez. Shot gives them nothing in front. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Puts it in deep. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Quick pass to Svechnikov. And that's knocked away by Aho. And he passes it up ahead to Frederick. Sent into the offensive zone. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. Shays moving the puck through his own zone. The Hurricanes get a hold of it. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Grizzlick's got the puck. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Svechnikov. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Takes the pass. The Bruins take it along the wall. Puck picked up by Tara Bynan. The Hurricanes will play it in their own end. Moves it to Tara Bynan. The Bruins grab possession to the puck. And he takes the feed. Here they come up along the wing. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. The Hurricanes will play it in their own end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Grabbed along the board by Shea. Sorry, feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Knocked away by Shea. Cuts into the paint. The Hurricanes have it from their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Up along the wing. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. DeBrus has got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Boston's got the puck along the wall. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Bruins have it behind the cage. Quick pass across to Laupo. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Laupo. Puts it on net, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. And it's kicked away. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck against the wall. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Quick feed to Orlov. Shot! And that one's turned aside. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Austin's needs to convert on one of these scoring chances, and they've had a lot of them tonight, but they still find themselves down in period three. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Boston's crossed the line and on the attack. The Bruins have the puck in the corner. Slides it diagonally to Wotherspoon. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What a play!
I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Boston's got the tying goal, and now can they find that go-ahead goal, Cheryl? They continue the momentum. They certainly can. They look like they're playing free, so they're moving their feet. They're being creative, and they're attacking. They're looking to win this game, not just keep it at evens. And that's a great hits up play in the offensive zone. And there's the save. Receives the pass. Here's a short pass to Bunting. Handles the pass. From the point, looks to make something happen. Too much congestion in front. Takes the shot. Makes the save. Pasternak stick handling in his own zone. On the attack along the boards. Quick pass to Marchand. Denies him with the pad. His shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. And that's poked away by Grislyk. The Bruins are in transition. Carolina's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it to Slavin. Carolina's got it in their own zone. The Hurricanes take it along the wing. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Carolina's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Answered the call on that play. And this is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. The Bruins move it ahead. Moves it over to Heinen. The Bruins play it along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Frederick. Takes the feed. Scores! The go-ahead goal! them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, the shooter, he gets a lucky break here. All he's trying to do is get that puck off quickly under pressure, and he does, and it goes bar down and into the net. The Bruins have gone in front at a critical time here in this one. It's a one-goal game here in the third. Well, it's exactly where they want to be, right? They have the lead, and they want to close this out. They're going to need to stay aggressive, stay on the puck, and not give any opportunities to their opponent. The Hurricanes win it. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Taken by Frederick. Tries to feed it over to Heinen. Quick shot! Stones up with the blocker! I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Heinen's got it in the defensive end. Quick feed to Frederick. And now he tries to get it across to Kiki. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Here's a short pass to Nelson. Frederick's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Kiki. Passes over to Martinick. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Takes it to the net. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck. And, send it. and that climbs off the air. Martinuk's having a tough one tonight, James. He's been at the right place at the right time with good timing, but unable to convert as he goes off the pipe numerous times. Pesci's loving the puck. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. The Bruins gain possession. Jabs the puck away. From the left wing, takes the feed. Stahl's got it in the offensive zone. The Bruins have it now. Angles it over to Van Riemsdyk. What an entertaining game, James. A lot of goal calls for you as it's been back and forth action in the offensive zones. Not much defensive structure to this one as everyone's looking to attack. Steps inside. Carolina's got the puck against the half wall. And makes the save. To the front. Oh, it stops him again. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. 
Boston's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Offense's own face off, and he wins the draw. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And let's see what the call is. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. Another chance here on the man advantage. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Hammers one. And that's blocked in traffic. And that one's turned away. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Ajo's ready to take the draw here on this power play. The Hurricanes win the faceoff. Great save by Swayman. Clearing attempt. Gets it out of his own end. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Slides it over to Punting. He carries the puck up along the wing. Shot! And he easily stops that one. And he sends it across to Marchand. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Sends a pass over. Poked away by Shattenkirk. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. Works it across to Jarvis. Poked away at center ice. Tries to get it out of the zone. Oh, and that's a big time clear there. Uh, the critical juncture of the game, and you're in your own zone. You've got to find a way to get that puck out, and you do it. You focused on the details, and you made sure you got it. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. The Hurricanes gain control of it. Shot! Oh, tremendous reflexes with the glove by Swayman! Zaka's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Off the face, off. They take the puck. Launches it from the point! Scooped up along the wall by Tara Bynan. Unable to reach that one. Trying to gain a step. There is it for the goal! Great play from start to finish as he executes with some great speed to break away from the pack. And then it's all about the execution. When you're one-on-one -on -one with a goaltender, you bring yourself back to your practice days and you use your move. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. And they win that neutral zone draw. Passes the puck over to Drury. Here's a chance! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Here he is in close! DeBrusque's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it to Van Riemsdyk. Nice feed from the right wing. Slides the puck over. Fantastic save! Taken along the wall by Bunting. And that goes off, pours off a body. Moves it quickly over to DeBrusque. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Sends the pass over. Looks to set up at the point now. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Boston's got the puck. Quick feed to Van Riemsdyk. Stops him with a glove. 
In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Standing by with her thoughts on who had the edge tonight, it's our own Carlin Bathe. Pastor Knox played a great game, and I really liked his finishing touch, guys. So based on that, I'm giving him the edge in our matchup tonight. From the point, they take control of it. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. The Bruins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Takes the feet at the back end. Stones him in front. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age, them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. The Hurricanes come up with the defensive zone draw. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Oh, just a great heads-up play. It's a two-on-one. A chance. Shuts the door. Whoa, what a save. They gain the zone from the left side. Stahl's got it in the corner. Denies the shooter on that play. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Hurricanes win that offensive zone faceoff. Cuts to the paint, and it bounces off a stick in traffic. And he takes the dish. Scores! Well, don't turn this off just yet. We've got ourselves a game. Well, definitely the only one now. Their opponent is on their heels, and now they're playing with a sense of urgency. Watch out. You can feel the wave coming, James. The Hurricanes have made this a one-goal game here in the third. Might be the final dance in the third period, but there is a lot of runway as this team is on fire right now. And we saw that with that last goal as they're within striking distance. You can feel the energy. It's just off and out of them right now. Boston's got it along the wall. Oh, what a slick stop by Kuchetkov! A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Here he is, wrists it on net. And a great read to turn that play aside. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Burns. Carolina's on the attack. Boston's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Oh, a clutch save! The Bruins have it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Boston's looking to break out. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Kershaw's looking... He scores! The captain leading by example! Oh man, he's an incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. Boston's looking to close things out here late in this third period as they continue to lead. The Hurricanes win possession here in the open ice. along the wall by DeBrusque. Slides it across to Saka. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Takes the feed. A chance from the slot. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Let's get the call. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Another scoring opportunity looms here. 
Power play has scored today, but hasn't been excellent. This is where coaches make adjustments, whether you go with PP1 or PP2, or even if you intermix them. Drury's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Loco side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Carolina's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. Grabbed along the board by Shea. Let's it go! And there's the save on the play. The Hurricanes will play the puck from behind the net. They are swarming around like bees here in the O-zone. Trying to get the puck out of their zone. And finally they have success clearing the zone. Moves it on over to Ajo. The Hurricanes looking against the half wall. Quick shot! Just gets enough to keep it out. You know the goal is dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. Carolina's got possession of the puck. Moves it to Tara Vinen. Here's a short pass to Ajo. And that's blocked. Stopped by the goaltender. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. They've got the extra attacker out there, and Cheryl, we know what this means. Well, you have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They'll look to win that draw and convert on their opportunity. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Oh, and he lays out to block that, and that'll earn some respect amongst his peers. 22 seconds left on the clock. The Hurricanes have it now. Carolina's got it in their own zone. The Hurricanes get a hold of it. Feeds the puck over to Ajo. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. The Bruins did not look like the team that was going to come back in that third period, but you know what? They really flipped the switch when it mattered. Yeah, and you learn a lot from a team that's down, James, and as you looked at the bench, you could tell that they were cultivating their own energy when they were down, so if you had a good shift, you could hear the bench communicating. You could see the stick taps, and they just continued to elevate until they got to the end of that third, and they were victorious. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski saying peace.